Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and uh, in this react with Laravel project video tutorial, we will learn that how we can make API for delete our product. In last video, we created a list of our product. So let's say you just you just want to delete any product from our list, that how you can do it. For that, you need a API and in this video, we will make that API. And uh, for that, we need a router and a controller function. After that, we will write some code for delete product and at the last we will test this api on a postman before just jumping with the code i just want to tell you that if you are planning to buy a hosting or a domain then you can do it with the domain racers there is a lots of reason of that they are providing the low price domain and hosting and they have free website builder tool if you are not familiar with the code then you can use this tool also good uh, customer services and fast hosting speed also and here you can check that they are providing the hosting only in 59 rupees per month so let's go for it right now let's jump on our project so uh, obviously uh, we need a controller for that uh, writing a function for delete our uh, product so and we are using a product controller for that so let's create a function here and just write here delete function and for a moment so that we can check that routing and everything is working fine so that we can print our id and we will get this id from this parameter like this right and our uh, controller function is ready now so we just need to route for it so let's just jump on our api.php and make a route for it and to make it quickly you can just copy and paste of code this is your router name this is the function name that you just created inside a product controller here right and how we can just get this id i will tell you that also for that you just need to use a slash and just simply use here curly braces and id and with that uh, you just need to pass your parameter with your url and you will get in your controller and uh, you can use your uh, delete method also let me just write here delete right so now let's test it with the postman that, that uh, routing and everything is working fine or not. So let me just open uh, one more tab right here uh, with your port number. And at the last, let's put here delete with the ID. So let's say I just want to print the ID 200 and uh, let's select the delete method. If you will select any other method, then it will give you an error. So be careful with that. And let's hit now. Now, now you can see that this is returning our id that are we just passed from here that means everything is working fine right so now what we need we just want to uh, delete our uh, product so that we just need to write here code with our uh, model right so just take a variable with the name of dollar data or dollar result so it is more suitable and just write here product colon colon and just write simply here where right and here we can pass here the id we will use a parameter and let's take this parameter inside the second option and just simply use here delete method right and now you can just simply put here if dollar delete is true then what you can do it Let's return something here like a result product has been deleted right now let's test it okay so let me check the product id first of all so here you can see that i have a product id with the mm, number 17 let me pass here number 17 and let's check here what we are getting here and we got an error so let me check what we just forgot to put ah uh, because we need to use here a result sorry my bad and now it should work fine and uh yeah this product is deleted by the last time so we can use a 16 now and here you can see that we got that result right okay so this is deleted now uh you can just check it with the refreshing our page now we have only last id with the 12 right so if you are trying to delete them again then it will provide you blank result because we are just putting here condition right 
and if you want then you can put here some condition right like this return and you can put here simply operation failed or something whatever message you want to uh, return right and here you can see that operation uh, operation failed because we don't have the uh, product with the id 16 this is already del deleted right so let me try to add one more product so let's say i just want to delete it here and now our, we have a product with the id 18 right let's check it here do we have it right here so let's delete it again uh, with the product id first time it will just give to the result uh, which is product has been deleted because now this is deleted right and again if i am trying to delete it then it will just give that operation failed so with that way we can create our api if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box and next video um, we will integrate this api in our react thanks for watching this video bye bye take care